Viet Five is an artisan coffee company that provides the authentic Vietnamese coffee experience right here in the city's West Loop. And here to teach us how to make this coffee at home is owner Tuan Nguyen, and thank you for coming in. What makes Vietnamese coffee Vietnamese coffee? What's the difference? Well, first and foremost, it's, it's grown and harvested in Vietnam. Okay. okay. Right, a lot of the, the narrative with Vietnamese coffee is that it's just served with condensed milk and you can use any coffee you want. Oh. But for a Vietnamese coffee, it has, you know, for us it's, uh, to be authentic, it's homegrown in, you know, in our land, in our country, and an imported right here to the city of Chicago. That's that's bit five, and that's what we, we we believe that we have the most authentic Vietnamese coffee. And is it is that more caffeine in it? It's because the beans are, are two different kinds, right? Yeah. Well, this is this is the same kind. Okay, we use robusta. Different. We use 100 yeah. percent robusta coffee uh, imported from our family's farm. So it's packed with twice the amount of caffeine. That's what I thought. High in antioxidants, yeah. uh, less sugar and calories than your normal Arabica coffee. Okay. Yeah. And in, in the robusta bean gets a bad rap. Oh, unfairly most, so. No, definitely unfairly so because mostly it's the lack of investment and resources into the supply chain. Uh -huh. uh, particularly with my family, we're local farmers in the central highlands of Vietnam. So there's not a lot of attention and investment in the process. Yeah. So within the grading system of specialty coffee, we essentially consider it as a defective species of coffee. But we, we, we're trying to change that narrative with Robusta, bringing it to the forefront because once you pass all those barriers and you try our coffee, it's fire. Okay, awesome. all right, well, let's yeah, try let's some try of that. All right, so the, the process here is very simple. Okay. Right, so it's, it's a, we make our coffee traditionally through a fin coffee filter. So it's a it's very low tech, simple uh, four piece mechanic filter. And these filters you can take anywhere you want. Yeah. So it's not like American coffee, you have to bring the big old filters. Uh -huh. Here our filter is very compact. So here is the base, you put it over a traditionally a, um, uh, with like a heat resistant cup. Okay. So this one we have here, and then you use the, this is the base of okay. it. And then we have, so from here, I forgot a step, I'm sorry. That's all right. That's so all right. one thing you want to add first is for the traditional drink, condensed milk. Okay. Okay. Which is, you said you. I'll yes. try that one. Yeah. You ready one. for that? So I'm this ready. one, for, it depends on your preference. You either want um, a lot or a little, right? A so, lot. So, for me, <laughs> so it depends on the sweetness level, but Sweet. um, really for robusta because it's it's so it's such uh, has a a bitter profile. Okay. So we use condensed milk to kind of balance between the boldness and uh, the the strength of the coffee, right? So that's what condensed milk kind of does. Okay. So I recommend just you know it had enough preference to what you kind of prefer. So I'm just going to add just a little, maybe okay. around 18 grams, maybe okay. of, of condensed milk. And then you place your fin filter right on top, okay. just like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you add the, about two tablespoons of coffee. Okay. okay. So, but you like really strong coffee. Mm -hmm. So I would just say do about two tablespoons of coffee. Okay. All right. Okay. Right, I love the ceremony. On the I, I do, thing. I it's do kind of, too. It's so fun. It's, it's, it's super low tech. Yeah, but right? it's fun. So, but it's cool though. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. It's low tech. It's it's time. It's you know it takes the time, but even though it's a singular cup of coffee, it's really meant for a communal experience. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So at the, the time you're waiting, if you're going to a Vietnamese restaurant, it's really eat it with pho. Yeah. Or something yeah. like that, or a sandwich. So it's more like communal uh, experience with a singular uh, cup. So All right. I made a little mess there. But then you add a little splash of coffee, I mean, a wa hot water. This is the most, for me, is the most important process of just making this coffee is the, the blooming process. Okay. Right? You allow for the time for the coffee to extract. Uh, and this, this kind of, it's combusting, it's, 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 it's cooking, it's brewing. Uh, and then you, that this little moment of time here is like around 30 seconds to okay. 45 seconds. You allow the coffee to bloom. Okay. And then, and then you fill it up to the rest. Oh, right? okay, gotcha. Oh, okay. A little bit, ah, uh, okay. Yeah, and then you fill it up to the rest right there. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I can see where the, it's, the, 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 the caffeine yeah. is some strong coffee. Some yeah. caffeine yeah. there, right? It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then you just, uh, you want to see it drip down here a little bit, and then you close the lid. Like that, and then this process takes about four to five minutes. Okay, okay. and then uh, it just steeps its way through. It steeps its way through. If you like it over ice uh, or hot, so we, for, for personally, oh, look at that. for so cool. for hot coffee, I would do a double pour. Okay, because uh, that it's really strong when you go and do it just one, you know, one time because yeah. it's meant to pour over ice. Oh, okay. Right? 
but I did make some pre-batches for you. Thank okay. you. Uh, we appreciate that. For you to kind of try. Oh, we should let everybody know, too, you guys are not open yet, but you are opening up in the West Loop. Yeah, let's go. Uh, March so 19. March 19. <laughs> it's our grand opening. That yeah. is so oh, exciting. Oh, give us coffee. Oh, okay. You have to yeah. start. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. no, okay. give us some coffee. Oh, yeah. That's it. So you have me distracted. Yeah, okay. Good. We're good at okay. that. It's all good. It's all good. And you so, have other things at the restaurant or yes. will at the restaurant besides the coffee. Keep making the coffee. Yeah, so we do a lot of uh, pairing, right? Uh, <laughs> We have uh, the amazing Sweet Delights Chicago that's making our pate so, which is a French Vietnamese pastry uh, that we'll be serving there as well. And then also uh, our, our partnership with uh, Universal Flavors. They're making our banh mi empanadas. Ooh. So have you had banh mi I Vietnamese love sandwich? Banh mi, yes. So it's a traditional sandwich, but we we're tricking it out into an empanada. Oh, nice. And we're okay. air frying it as well. And then our great friends of Triple Crown, uh, Spencer. Uh, nah, they, they made us this uh, coffee bun yeah. uh, that's with a Vit 5 coffee in it. It's delicious, and this is just a perfect pairing for, you know, the perfect Vietnamese cup of coffee, right? So it's it's a nice pairing there. We'll have that. We we'll also have our merch, our kits, uh, and our coffee beans. We have three roasts uh, that all symboli symbolizes our, our refugee journey. Uh, so a sacred water is our, is our light roast. And then we have our early heaven is our medium rose, and people on boats are dark rose. I love that. This is so great. Thank you so much. <laughs> we have all the information on the screen for when they open March 19th. Of course, you can always order the coffee online, so you see the website there. Thank you for joining us. We're going to drink our coffee here in just a second. All right.